the recording. Okay, yeah. There you go. All right. Welcome to IPFS All Hands meeting for May 21st. Um, I think I'm the moderator today. Um, and uh, we have a note taker, right? Yes. Okay, cool. Volker. Um, and uh, we're just going to start going through things. Uh, if you don't have the notes doc open, I just posted it in chat. Um, feel free to add items, but if we get to the end before you put them in, you missed it. Um, so uh, I think uh, the first thing on the agenda today is uh, Matt had some things to talk about with respect to these dev meetings or other dev meetings? Yeah, so the, the de IPFS developer meeting and the P2P developer meeting in July are, we shifted the dates one day earlier so that the Lib P2P dev meeting can be two days instead of one. Uh, so that, um, so this, this means the IPFS one will be the 9th to 11th of July, Monday through Wednesday, and the, the P2P one will be the 12th and 13th, so that's Thursday and Friday. Um, if I've quoted it wrong, the correct thing is it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, Friday. But I think those are the correct dates. Um, and so we'll be putting out the blog post. If you actually look in the IPFS blog repo, there's a PR waiting to be shipped that has the announcement for this that will be posting today and tweeting uh, and send out an email blast. Uh, uh, applica the application forms are open. So if you want to attend, uh, fill out the application form. Even if you're, so if, if you're someone who has KRs assigned to you on the OKR spreadsheet, you are automatically accepted. You should still fill out that form because we need to know that you want to attend, and we need to know which which things you want to attend, and we need to know whether you need financial assistance. So, um, so go ahead and fill out those forms, and um, and related with that is the IPFS and LibP2P user registry, which we're rebooting. I've mentioned it a couple times on other calls, so the form for that is up as well, and I can add that to the notes. Um, if you have a project that you that uses IPFS or LibP2P uh, and you want the world to know that that project exists and you want us to know that that project exists, you should add it to that registry uh, and fill out those forms. And those forms are definitely like, if you find the experience of filling out that form unpleasant in some way, you should let us know, we can make them better. Um, they, they might be too long, they might be asking the wrong questions. So speak up about that. Uh, did have anyone have any questions about those updates? Rob, Rob and the Johnny. You, Sorry. you also wanted people to fill out that form even if they don't want the whole world to know, right? There's a yeah. checkbox where don't. Yeah, the, you don't can, there's a checkbox where you can say that you don't want that information to be public. So if you want us to know, ah, and Johnny is asking, so, oh, okay, so I'll finish answering the first question. So yes, um, the entries in that user registry form, filling out that user registry form, we will only make that information public, like list your project publicly, if you check the checkbox saying, yes, I get permission to be listed in the public registry. Um, we would definitely, even if you don't want to be listed, we would love to have you in that registry so we know that you exist and we can count you as part of our community. Um, so Johnny was asking the venue. So this is in, it will be in Berlin, in, in Mitte. So, and we're arranging hotels uh, that will be very close to the eating place um, in Mitte. And we're looking, we're arranging a more affordable hotel and then a more comfortable hotel so that people can self-select. And just general, what section of town is that? Mitte is like in the middle. It's uh, it's it's very it's very central in in Berlin, um, sort of between West Berlin and East Berlin, near the like near the Brandenburg Gate and all of that. Okay, all right, cool. Uh, anyone else? Okay, that's all for the dev meetings. All right, um, I think the next thing is me. Uh, so. Uh, a couple weeks ago, after talking with Matt and with Kyle, we kind of came to the conclusion that for the docs, uh, we need to sort of switch directions a little bit and take a simpler tack. Uh, so what I'm hoping to have out today is a PR 
for that docs site, the IPFS slash docs repo that basically just throws away a lot of what's there and reformats it as sort of an index of all the docs we have for various things across all the different places. So at least there's just one place to go find where everything is um, and then sort of grow it from there rather than uh, trying to address some of the immediate uh, understanding needs that folks have that I identified in the original research, just address the like having a place to put the things because that's actually the bigger fundamental problem with, with getting motion on it. Um, so I'm trying to do that. Uh, I was hoping to have, have something to, to actually show for people to look at, um, but it's just gonna be later today, unfortunately. Uh, I would love it if people do take a look. That said, uh, I kind of guarantee it will probably be a little underwhelming because it is mostly just trying to gather everything and link it and it's stripping a lot of features and things from what was in that repo because uh, there's a lot of stuff that's kind of broken like there was a search feature but the search didn't actually work and there was uh, stuff for pulling in various docs from uh, and building the docs from other tools which I think we want to bring back but for now I'm just turning it off because nothing is totally cohesive there yet. Uh, but it's just trying to be a clear index of all the different things we've got. And I would love it if people would take a look later today. I'll post an IRC uh, in, in, and let me know whether that organization makes sense and is reasonable. Uh, so I just wanted to put a note out there about that. And uh, I think the next thing we've got is Matt again. Well, also a question with that. So is there already a PR or you're going to be posting a PR with those changes? I'm going to be posting a PR. Uh, in the notes, I added a link to, to the main issue that that PR is focusing on, which is sort of like gather and organize all the stuff that we've got. Uh, if there's, there's probably a few more things I've identified than what I posted in various things in that issue. Uh, if people haven't seen that issue, feel free to pop in there and add links to, to docs or videos or things that we have that you know about that I haven't listed that we need to make sure are in the documentation and are clearly linked. Any other questions about it? Okay, so on to Matt. All right, this is, uh, I don't know that we need to just, we've repeatedly discussed reformatting this all hands call. Um, uh, I ended last week had a conversation with Mike Gelser who's here next to me. Wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so a conversation with Mike and with Arkady about some ideas for reformatting that. So we can bring that up uh, next week with maybe a proposal. Um, basically we're thinking um, it would be great to reformat these calls to be more pre-scheduled presentations. So if the call is 45 minutes, 30 minutes would be someone giving a presentation and doing Q and A and we can do more broad ranging topics. So we could have someone give a talk on product design and have someone give a talk on the economics of open source. Cause we have people in the sphere of IPFS. We're doing fascinating stuff that doesn't, um, that would be useful for everyone to be exposed to, but doesn't really, it doesn't really make sense for those people to be joining our weekly all hands to discuss like the, the updates to the docs. Um, and so if we, so we're thinking of totally switching up the format in that way, this mainly just a heads up and we'll, we'll have more of a proposal later. And then my next one, if no one had questions, uh, I was next also, oh, I wanted to introduce Michelle Hertzfeld, but I'm not sure where she is. I think she's actually been pulled into a meeting. So I'll introduce her next week. We have Michelle Hertzfeld just joined to lead work around large volumes of data on IPFS and work around decentralized data stewardship. I'm very excited to be working with her. Um, and you'll see more of her in future weeks. That's all of mine. It looks like we're actually at the end of the agenda, unless anyone had a demo. All right. Um, does anybody have any last minute things that uh, they'd like to make sure get discussed or anything they want to demo before we close it out? Oh, let me, see, let me see if David wants to say anything before we sign it. He's, he's in a meeting. Okay.
I'll say it. All right. Well, I think that's it for this week then. Um, thanks for coming, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Coming.